Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. Today we will be looking at using Seiku Enterprise to analyze and interrogate data held within MongoDB. To use Seiku in MongoDB we need to create a schema which will map Mongo fields to columns in a pseudo table. First of all we shall look at the data set we will be using for today's demo. As you can see it's a copy of the Microsoft Northwind database and has a number of collections available. We won't be using all of them but it's a pretty good data set when modeling business reporting techniques. Next we'll open up our admin panel and enterprise users will see a Mongo schema section at the bottom of the data sources. To create a new Mongo schema we click on the add Mongo source button. This will open up a new window and asks you to fill in a number of fields. Schema name is the name of the schema you are creating. This can be any human readable name. Hostname is the location of the Mongo server on your network and database is the name of the database that Seiko will be connecting to. Next we add a table. Table name is the name you want to give your pseudo table. In this case we will call it orders and, it's, and the collection name is the collection of the data that is coming from MongoDB. Next we add a row. This is where we map the Mongo keys to columns in our table along with the data type of the key. Let's go back to our data and look at some of the documents. As you can see we have the ID field followed by a number of records that document an order within the Northwind database. Our first column in our schema will be an ID field. You can use the Mongo ID or like us you can use another field. In this case we will be using order ID. As you can see order ID is an int so we will set the data type to integer. The column name can be any name you want to give the column and the Mongo key field is is the name that maps back to the to the key field in the document. Next we'll add customer ID and call this column customer underscore ID. This is personal preference. I like to use traditional column names within my database. As you can see within the uh, document itself the field is a string so we set the data type to varchar. Lastly we'll add the employee ID field and again call this employee underscore ID and again we know that the data type is varchar so we'll leave that set as it is. When you click the save button you can see that it's added to the to the list on the left hand side so we now have a Northwind 2 entry um, and then going forward as we use a schema designer and write schemas for Seiku then we can use these schemas within it. Here's a more full featured uh, implementation I did of the same data sets. So you can see how the keys map to the different column names and also we have a number of different tables within the schema itself. So we have orders, employees and customers which create pseudo tables from different collections within the Mongo database itself. So check back later, we'll look at how to create schemas using the Mongo data source and other databases um, and thanks for watching.